Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Kizzy. I just wanted to come on and show you guys my necklace that my daughter got me for my birthday. I know I'm looking like Mr. T, but that's okay. Um, is this the right one? Yeah. And it's like my channel. It's like, it's Kizzy. I thought it was so cute. And I think I'm just really gonna just wear it by itself. Like when I go out and kind of like have like a V-neck shirt on. I just wanted to come on and show you because I thought it was so cute. And I also want to say, um, me and Carla went to visit my dad today. He looks so good. He sounds so good. Everything is going great. He should be home soon. Um, yeah. And I also just wanted to say, I just feel so bad for a couple of my daycare parents. Like March is not the mar mar March is not the month for a couple of my daycare parents. Like I have one family to lose their dad, which is my daycare kid's grandpa he just up and died you know and um today i just had that was last week with that family and so today i had um one of my daycare moms to come in and i was like what's wrong and i could because you know you can see sadness on somebody's face and she just broke down in tears like massive tears and i was like oh my gosh what's wrong and she was just telling me that her husband dad He's not going to make it. Things are not looking good. He was already like battling cancer, but he was like really doing good. But he fell, he bumped his head, and they was just saying like there is no brain activity going on and it, it doesn't look good. You know, my heart really went out to this particular family because these guys been in my care for about three years and I have two of their kids in our care so i just immediately felt really sad for them and i just basically told her if there's anything we can do of course we're gonna do it and we'll be there for them um it just always makes me think about my dad how blessed i am and how fortunate i am to have my dad and all the things that he went through when he overcame i'm just so blessed that he's still here and I'm still smiling. I, I have not told any of my daycare parents like the situation with my dad or what he's going through or um, even the fact that he's been in the hospital. Maybe with that first surgery a few years ago I did, but I just been keeping everything. What I do want to say is I just want everybody to pray for Nicole's family um, because even when the doctors say no, we all know that God has the last word. Man can say no, but God can say yes. Even if it looked bad, even if, even if it looked like there's no way, but God can always make a way. Even if, even if it looks impossible, but there's always possible. Um, I just want to say that. That just made me feel so, so close to my dad, you know, and so fortunate. And I was just telling him, he felt so sad just to even hear it. Just like, it's just sad just to hear the loss of anyone is just sad so love on your loved ones while they here don't give them their flowers while they're gone love on them now i'm appreciate them now the ones who deserve it <laughs> i'm just saying <laughs> um yeah it's just it's sad um that's about it it's night time i'm about to go to bed we just came back my daughters and my son just bought their dad something for his birthday. It's Mars's birthday, so we're about to go to bed for work tomorrow, and that's it. Maybe I'll vlog tomorrow for his birthday, but we'll see. All right, guys. Bye.